Okay, do that. Let's go. This will be other kind again. Why not? All the time he played the same line, which not actually scary. Oh, now it's different. He take ed ed. That's different. This is not what he usually playing. He played actually be forty five more time. Something else. And it's six. Night six seven. One difference is he didn't make a castle yet. Now he made a castle. Okay, 96 I can play. I can play rookie 8. Oh, I don't remember which one actually. Let's go rookie 8, 9 of 8. I guess this one best. Bishop f6 there. It's definitely I have to put knight on e6 in this setup. Yeah, and just my goal is to make as much as I can make a pressure on d4 pawn. I'm not worth. Actually, it's hard to believe, but that's true. So, just black not worse here. Okay, and it's six. You know what? I guess it's too early for knight. Maybe I can play bishop first. Whatever. Hey, g7 again. Then bishop f5, trade bishop. Let's go here, bishop f5. Knight f5 actually this looks pretty good. Knight g3 is h5. Bishop g6 take just. Okay, h4. Knight f5. I can take the knight is 6 Pawn takes. Ninety six. Queen a five. I have actually a very good spot for my queen there. Twenty five. Knight g five. Then or knight g five. Let's go queen a five. I like queen a five. Queen a five is pretty pretty good piece. Oh my god! A blunder takes. Oh oh man. Okay, relax. That's why I should play queen. I completely forget about that. Shoot. Oh, I am. That's a blunder. Almost ruined everything for me. Yeah, I just was just much more better now. King g7, I could play knight g5, and it's it. Now I have to equalize the position. Jesus Christ. <sighs> That's not good. I blundered such an important pawn. Okay, I'm going to play knight c3, I guess. Play rook d8. Bishop g5 looks also good. 
I can play queen e6, then take and check, take, check, take. Maybe even I can get some more. I'm not sure it's that good. Let's go rook e6. See, I don't have to rush. I would like to get more. Just rook f6. Okay, rook f6, sable turn and take, take. We must take. I'll take, then take. Yeah, okay. Uh, can I take on e3? If check, I will simply take there. Check. Where's mate? Check goes there. It's not me. Queen f4, I can play without any mate. G3, I just take. Yeah, let's go G3. Ah, that's over. Take. Just take a pawn simply. Yeah, I don't need to calculate anything. I can check with this. Rook is hand in there. Another one I can take. Rook e8 even. Nice. Even after Blunder, still that was a good game. I played fast and I got my position. My style of position and Alekhine, which I know very good. All of this. So, that was a good game. Very good game. If I didn't blunder that, that was upset. Bishop b3 is pretty, pretty interesting. Oh, no, wait. 7b5 like this? No way. It's much more better than de. Yeah, but queen e2 I could play. Unfortunately, I blunder on his g6. If I didn't blunder, I'd play like simple king g7 events here. Or like I said, knight g5. That was better than... Just get bad position from the opening. Yeah, that's pretty hard to recognize that you are not good. So, in this position, people thought they're good. Because they more like a space here. But they not. So, guys, still... Quick reminder for you, don't forget, I have a course in every this setup and light I have in my chessable course. I think I decided to just place likes. <laughs> Thank you.